In this video, I will go over the layout of the DMI-8 touchscreen. So the first tab is our status or illumination tab. It shows us a summary of the present state of our microscope, including which contrast method we're in, what filter tube we're using, which objective we're on, and where the light is going. We have this FIM, which is the fluorescence intensity manager. We can open or close the shutter with the shutter button. The yellow light indicates that the shutter is open. We can also toggle between transmitted light and incident light. So incident light is another name for fluorescence. So if we switch to the transmitted light, you'll see that the options change in terms of the light controls. The next tab is our contrast or modality tab. And here we can choose between transmitted light, bright field and phase, fluo and fluo phase. And we can also open and close a shutter here. So you'll notice that there's a little caret next to the bright field button. And that indicates that all of these objectives are available for bright field imaging. So let's say we're interested in doing phase, but there's no caret there. That means the current objective can't do phase. So we go back to objective tab and it says the four, 10 and 20 are all available for phase. So we can choose any of these three for phase imaging. Now if we switch to the fluorescence incident light method, we can see that the filter cubes are now available to us. We can choose between FITSI, Psi3, Psi5, or LED405, which we use for DAPI. All right, so our objective tab shows us we have these six objectives, the two and a half, the four, 10, two 20X objectives, and a 40x objective. The bottom part of this panel shows where the light is going. Right now it's going to the eyepieces or the top port, which is the, the color camera. Alternatively, we can switch it to the left port, which is your K5 monochrome camera. So the last tab is your XYZ tab. And here we can set a focus position. So we've already focused and then we hit that double arrow and we hit set. And now that becomes zero. You can also set a lower limit by lowering the focus, then hit lower limit and set. Now you can toggle between your focus position and lower limit. You can also use the side buttons to toggle between focus and the lower limit. And you can toggle between coarse and fine focus using the touchscreen. The last tab is XY, which you can use to store stage positions. To store the current stage position, touch the floppy disk icon in the bottom right hand corner you can revisit the positions with a circular arrow icon. You can also toggle between coarse and fine hand wheel speed. 